Hello everyone, this is LW Gaming, and welcome back for another video of Sword of Convalaria. Well, today we're going to be taking a look at what has been added for th this week of within the game. So, this week we are going to be expecting a new debut banner as well. So, we're going to take a look at that shortly after, but first let's t take a look at what we have for this week. So, first off, we got Shadow of Calamity, a new event. Uh, let's see what kind of event this is. Uh, let me take a look at this. Let me take a quick peek of what kind of event. Okay, so it's kind of like the uh, tr treasures, like traders from the desert event. Okay, uh, meow, 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 meow. Calm down. What could possibly warrant such an urgent voyage? Just now, the Sea of Chaos, very close to Elysium. A really powerful force exploded upwards. Kaboom! Kaboom! There's no mistaking it. It's the power of calamity. Go and check out the, the, the that dimension fragment. At least give me some time to prepare. No, go now before the calamity comes to you. Okay, what a ru what a rush. <sighs> oh my goodness. So, anyways, looking at those stages, it looks like there's only seven acts in this event. But however, all the stages will not be open until the first of November. So. We can take a we can take a few days break if you manage to complete all four of those acts together, <clears throat> which I'll do some other time because right now I need to record a video about uh, about the uh, what has been added for this week. Uh, anyways, this will be some other time, so we're gonna talk about that shortly, very soon. Uh, we also have a new chapter unlocked into the into the game. Chapter eleven is now available for you to play in the Fool's Journey. And these are the quests, and so far I got all I got some of them done already. Interesting. So I'm gonna go and collect these really quick. How much of these do I have? I have six. Okay, I gotta be mindful of using those octopus because those are limited. I cannot just use it as if they're just unlimited supply. Oh, brutal axe, nice. All right. <clears throat> So let's see what what do I, are we looking at next? Uh, there's also something going on in the store. What's going on here? Wait. A refined trinket gift pack. Interesting. This one costs about this one original price was like three thousand of those uh cranium crystals. Or let's see what these are actually called. These are called astro gems. Okay. We, uh, this will get you one random trinket, which is pretty nice. L random legendary trinket. <clears throat> I think it's there as a limited time offer. Yeah, it's a limited time sale. So, if you're in the need of, of like those extra trinkets, although I don't recommend you get that because you know, you can easily get those by doing some you know weapon retrial or by other means. And also, there's a new uh, there's a new avatar design on here uh, for you to get. But since I have enough horns from the previous events, I can just get this right away. There we go. And once I got it, it's mine. <coughs> For me to use. Okay, what's next? Uh, let's go to the summoning uh, page and see what has been added here. So, we got a new debut banner. This one features a new character named uh, August? I don't know how to pronounce that that name, but I think it's called August. But not really the August month, not, not like that, but the, the other August with the E in the end. I don't think that, that letter E makes any sound. Hmm. So anyways, uh, let's try out his uh, character trial and see what how he works. Uh, but before uh, but before we begin, I'm, I want to see what his kit does, because I do hear a lot of things about him, but... Uh, based on what I'm seeing here, he it looks like he is a physical attacker, or known as the breaker that is, and the faction he's part of is the union, which uh, makes sense, and aggression, and and also let's take out his trait, <coughs> uh, sword of wrath. Uh, August ignores block after initiating an active attack or entering standby. He gains one stack of rage, up to six stacks. When having six stacks of rage, 
After actively using a skill or basic attack, August removes all stacks and he can act again, gaining an gaining Rage Outburst 3 for 2 turns, and recover 2 in an RG. At the start of the battle, he also gains 4 stacks of Rage. Oh my goodness, so, so August involves with his anger. Wow, oh my goodness. So, like, when, when he's at a stack of 6 of those, he's gonna... After using a skill actively, of course, uh, he's gonna remove all that, and then he can act again after this, which is pretty nuts. And also, he will be getting the rage outburst as well, as well as two NRG. And also, what what one thing that stem out the most is that this is probably the first unit that does ignore guard or block in in the SOC's uh, logic. But anyways, what what block means is that like when when they when a unit is about to be attacked, that the one that can block, well, actually not necessarily tank, not necessarily guarding, but that's a different thing. But anyways, the one with like the shields, for example, that can block. Uh, they that will not stop that will not stop him, which is pretty interesting. I thought it's like some kind of guard ignore, but no, that I remember the defenders do have their own block mechanic like, as long as they have a shield. That is, yeah, he he's gonna be a. Uh, He's going to be a force to be reckoned with. And this is his basic attack. A single target attack. August deals 1% damage. When attacking enemies, additionally consumes 1 NRG from the target. Ooh. NRG drain, that is. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Wrath Swift uh, is a physical damage. And this does instant is an instant skill. Treat it as an instant skill. August charged at one enemy within a cross-shaped range around him, dealing 40% damage and knocking the enemy back by one tile. The skill switched to Wrath Snap and remains for two turns. So let's take a look at what Wrath Snap is <clears throat> here. And th this one deals 80% damage to all enemies within a 3 times 2 area, inflicting physical defense 2 down for two turns. The skill switches to Wrath Scorch, for two turns afterward. So we won't know what Swift Scorch is because the game doesn't really let us see it until we get in the game. So it looks like this skill switches into three different forms. The first one is Swift, second form is, Ra uh, is Snap, and the third one is Scorch. So I kind of think, think in my mind, if, if this is correct, uh, the Scorch one is like the one that he will inflict Scorch effect on the enemies, but not sure if it's a single target or AoE, but it could be one of those two. <clears throat> you get the idea. Okay, Warm Touch is a passive skill. When performing an active attack, deals an additional pierce damage equal to 15% current HP of the target. And the, characters and the character recovers 10% HP. This effect can be activated up to one time per round, but it can be triggered simultaneously upon hitting multiple characters. Ooh, sounds pretty good. Uh, Hassle is a support skill. August gains two stacks of rage and a physical shield equal to 60% of physical attack plus magic attack as well as damage reduction too. When August is injured, additionally gains one stack of rage and then damage up two up for two turns. So yeah, this skill is pretty useful in some scenarios. So if August is like at the at the like threshold of like, you know, injured, I would say like 70% HP remaining. Uh, he's going to be able to gain one more stack of Rage on top of that, which means that he's going to trigger, trigger his Rage much faster when he's in injured state. So if you ever come across August, watch out. If you if you get enough if you inflict enough damage to him, just be prepared for his outrage. I mean, it, it is what it is. He, he's going to be really angry at you. <clears throat> like the more he's hurt, the more angry he gets. So be careful. And then here is Wrath, Devastation, and uh, I think this is one of those ultimate skills that you get on the Wrath series. Uh, it does physical damage. August deals 90% damage to all enemies within 3 times 4 area in the target direction, dispelling 2 buffs from the target before attacking. When he is in rage outburst state, there is a 50% chance of inflicting stun on the target. So yeah, the, with the 50-50 stun on on those targets, this could be devastating for for the enemies. 
So the, the area effect on this is three by four tiles, is, which is actually pretty big. I'll go like just by looking at the picture here. Uh, when he's in outburst ra rage outburst state, he's gonna be able to do like a fifty percent stun. So yeah, when the fifty percent actually does activate, yeah, that unit could be dump could actually be dead the next time when someone else attacks. Yeah, that that is that is pretty nasty. <clears throat> I mean, it's a it's an ultimate move after all. So I'm not even surprised. Oh yeah, and also about the uh, the rage outbursts. I forgot to mention about this, but anyways, he, he, these are what these are. So, anyways, the rage component is that it increases his attack by three percent, and per per stack of course. And this can be stacked up to six times, and and this cannot be it cannot be dispelled or immune. So, if if you already have those stacks, don't you don't have to worry about them getting removed because it's not possible. And uh, and then Rage Outburst 3 adds 70% of magic attack to physical attack and gains armor piercing. So for this character, you're going to need to do both uh, physical and magic attack stats in order for you to be able to build him effectively. Anyways, this is his initial form. Looks pretty nice. And this is what he looks like as a 5 stars. So anyways, let's try him out in the battle. Here we go. August uh, challenge or trial, whatever it is. Sent me to deal with these calamities, huh? <laughs> that great leader sure knows how to boss people around. <clears throat> no matter. The Endless Void of the Sea of Chaos suits me far better than that so-called Elysium. Come forth! Were you, were you not born to destroy everything? Show me! Can your power truly annihilate this absurd world? Oh my goodness, that's a lot of those uh, spawns. <coughs> And those guys move with it. Oh, my. Okay, so let's see what are we dealing with here. So those clammies are right there. So let's go ahead and use the skill on those guys. Although we won't be able to stun them, but that's fine. Okay, get rid of those guys. Ow. Hmm. Yeah, they're all gonna shoot at me as long as they're I'm in range of them of, of three. <clears throat> okay, let's use that skill. Moroina. And uh, I'm gonna do it upward. Yep. The more he attacks, the more he he heals himself. Interesting. And then there's scorch. Uh, let's see what this does because I was wondering what this is. So, anyway, it's a, it's a single target attack. August deals 160% damage, deals 8% damage to other enemies within one tile around the target, and knocks them back by one tile. The skill switch to Wrath Swift. Okay. <clears throat> I see. Hmm. Unfortunately, I won't be able to hit the ones over, over the one back there. <clears throat> Okay, I'm gonna hit right here and then activate this.
Uh, let's go and attack this guy from the back. There we go. Oh, we're fine. We have a shield that can give us some protection. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna head right here and then activate that skill. That was powerful. Alright. Let's do this. And give, give us a healing power. <coughs> and I won't be able to move after that, so we're just gonna wait there. Okay, that will be a waste if I do that, so I'm just gonna stand here for now. Go here, destroy those two. Okay, and that thing is not gonna move because I'm out range. Stand here. Move closer, but don't get in range yet until you can reach. And then finish. <coughs> there we go. Is that all you got? Interesting. Come, let us creatures of the void battle until the bitter end. Wow, he's too powerful, man. A pitiful swarm of ants. How disappointing. But Destruction. I shall wait that the day it arrives. Wow, he is pretty powerful. I pre I am pretty impressed. <coughs> Do I think it's more powerful than Safia? Well, it really, is, it really depends. I personally don't use her back then because of course I don't have her in my team. So, But compared to those two, I guess I could say August does have an upper hand when it comes to strength. But however, when it comes to combat between those two, I would say Safia is going to win because, you know, Safia is a seeker while August is a breaker. But of course, it all comes down to skills. Let's see. I think that's about it here for now. Anyways, hope you all find this video helpful and informative, and I'll see you all next time.